Round one, fight. This week I really should have been doing more videos. I didn't realise and I looked back at my channel last night and realised that the last video I've done was last week's this week. Which I'm wearing the same t-shirt which if you can't tell is actually a multicolour Optimus Prime. Don't worry, I haven't been wearing it all week. It's Saturday, I filmed the last one on Sunday. I rotate them. It, you know. I really should have done the video during the week because I've had such awesome stuff this week. I should have done at least one unboxing and I didn't because I was too excited. Let's put it that way. First up on the bet is... Just... Just look what... Minty goodness, it's just, oh my god. I still can't get over this. I got this on Monday and I haven't opened it because I wanted to show you how mint this packaging is. Look, it's like, it's case bloody fresh. Ooh. I did have to pay 17 quid for it. But it's another King Grimlock job and it's exceedingly good. I don't care that I spent that much money because it's Power Pinch and I've wanted him since I was about six. This is just, but I, I just don't want to open him. I really, really don't because the box is just, God, it's so perfect. I don't remember ever seeing Beast Wars figures look this good in the packaging when they were on the shelves. But it's just, I mean, I'm amazed. How can something that is a 14 years old now be in such good condition? Um, it's going to be really difficult to open this guy up. But I have to because it's a giant earwig. And... What more is there to say about that? Look at these pinches, look! Yes! Very, very nice. But it's like one of these sort of trophy purchases. Like when you nab some properly good old figure and then once you actually get it, it's so special you just don't want to touch it. Oh! Let's move on. Second up is my first Human Alliance figure from Kapow Toys' Purple Sunday Sale, which I mentioned last week. It's an astronaut! It's an astronaut man! And a rather cool robot. Yes, his colour scheme is a bit bland compared to Sandstorm, I suppose. But I think Half-Track does the job. Come on, it's a moon buggy with an astronaut. This thing is so much fun. Oh. Yes, the weapon mode is silly because you've got this guy sitting with his feet dangling over where the missiles come out. But this guy's just so much fun. He's so poseable and it's just one of these bots that you can really just roughhouse with, as it were. He's all sturdy and although his arms come off quite easy. I really like him and I'm really surprised as to how much I also like the little human dude. Probably because he's an astronaut. Because he hasn't got a face. But I just have so much fun with him and he's really quite poseable and it's just it's just like yeah he's having adventures with the big dude and riding around cruising on the moon so on to the grand finale a figure which I got for absolutely nothing which you can see right now in the background so it's no surprise but it's so 
good. Oh. I'm so happy that I got this thing for absolutely no money whatsoever. Oh my god. Oh, I couldn't have got a better deal. It's just... Ooh. Look at this thing. Look at it. Ooh. The shiny blue bits and the... Oh, god. Oh, and the spinning. Oh, it's just... It's such a good looking figure. I mean, the original Evac, let's face it, he was a bit of a multicolored jumble, but as blades, it works so well. I know his colors are a bit wrong, really. He doesn't need all this red, and he's a bit more white in there. His head's the wrong color, but who really gives a damn? I have G1 blades, he was the first vehicle transformer I ever got, so the character holds a, a special place in my heart. And that space has just got bigger because this thing is so fucking awesome! Even even the planet key looks cool, all this blue paint and this little crystally bit on the end that I've left clear, and you just you just know how good it feels to just do this. Yes! Oh, and then they can go over his head if you want. And, ah. Oh. And then you can have these wings out. I actually think it looks better like that. I don't know why. Stuff gets in the way, like the rosa blade, but. This thing is just so cool, and. Yes, the copter mode's got a few holes in it, but it says Coastal Rescue on it, and it's got a, it's got a working winch, which retracts in literally no time at all, and so it would obviously break your neck if it was rescuing you from the sea. Help, help. Grab on. Oh, thanks for saving me. Ah, my... <laughs> Somehow, this mould really does fit Blaze's character of a street fighter. He's got the blades, so he can go cut you up and hit you in the face with them. And then he's got the winch, which I imagine you would use like Scorpion out of Mortal Kombat. Get over here! And then he's got really big feet for just kicking you in the face. On his box, it says he likes to kick people. But all that aside, it's what comes in the box that's really special. And it is really special. The light piping is perfect. All the joints are just nicely ratcheted. They don't I don't click as nicely as I would hope, but it's all there, it's really poseable. He's got a waist swivel if you can get enough stuff out of the way. But this is turning into a review, and I really need to do a review on this guy because it's like my new favorite figure. So, that's been the most awesome week of the 28th of November. Which of course means it is now December, and the countdown to Christmas begins. And it really doesn't feel right. It's like autumn has just passed me by, and now it's the winter, and it's getting dark quick, and I don't like it. I don't mind the cold, but it's it's the dark I don't like. I'm not ready for Christmas. I haven't bought anything for anyone for Christmas, no cards. I have my flashing snowman, and I've got some piddly LED fairy lights on my shelf up here. I suppose Christmas is I'm feeling. Apart from the fact that when my parents came down the other week, they had to leave me a joke advent calendar, didn't they?
fireman, mother flipping Sam. It's, it longs for death. Too many few references that's going to bring up. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch Knock Off Beat Down 2. <laughs> yes, I have a Fireman Sam advent calendar. And I'm going to say I'm proud of it. Because I like Fireman Sam. Or I did when I was about five. Norman Price! So that's it. Bot wise, I'm not going to be getting anything else. Because I simply have too much stuff now to take home. Um, Brentosaur has gone and sent me some Dinobots and Undertow power core combiners. Very, very nice. I'm looking forward to them, but I'm not going to have them here. I've got them sent home so that they can be put away for Christmas because I can't see I'm going to get many TFs for Christmas. It's nothing I want on shelves, but I've a couple of Cyberverse ones. That's not Christmas present worthy, I've said it before. So, I'm going to have me some dinosaur and speedboat and nautical ankylosaurus goodness come Christmas. All thanks to the wonderful Brentosaur, who hunted high and low for these bits for me. So to round off the week, Big thank you to King Grimmy for my power pinch. Big thank you to Brentosaur for the bits I'm going to get from Florida. And a big thank you to watching, I guess. <laughs>